Jermon. Thank you very much, Victor Howe, outside the Saints locker room here in Charlotte. Jermon Bushrod, the Saints veteran, joins me. Uh, you guys winning in different ways, but this is a win's a win, right? Absolutely. You know, uh, I'll take it any way we can. Um, you know, sometimes we're going to be explosive on offense, and it took a while. You know, it took a while today, and, and you know, I guess we made the plays when, when needed, but our, our defense did a tremendous job, literally from start to finish. Um, they had, they kept us in the game all game, and, um, you know, we just played a, you know, just a good complimentary game. What's been the difference in this offense the last month, you think? Well, you know, we're just steadily, you know, trying to get better. You know, we're trying to find our way and, and trying to find out what works, and we're trying to, you know, increase our tempo and, and do what we need to do up front so we can give, you know, our playmakers a chance. And, um, you know, we're just going to continue to keep building on that. Unfortunately, you know, the points aren't rolling in like we want them to, but uh, we'll get back to it. Max Unger goes down, and he's a guy who's been an Iron Man on this offensive line. How did that impact you as a unit? Well, you know, it's tough when you see a guy like that, you know, a high, high, you know, highly competitive guy, and he brings so much to this offense. And um, when you lose a guy like that, it's tough. But, you know, <clears throat> Cameron Tom is here for a reason, and, you know, he's a young, athletic, uh, smart kid, and um, he had his opportunity, and he did some good things out there. Yourself have filled in for Teron Armstead. I know when you came back to this team, you wanted to, you know, fit in when you, where you could. I mean, you've really filled in admirably the last month. I mean, talk about your role. You probably didn't know what to expect when you came back, but is this kind of, you know, what you expected, ready if called upon? Well, that, that's it. I mean, you know, I understood um, they had five really good starters from the previous year that were coming back. And, um, you know, initially, you know, I came in as a backup role, and that's okay. And that's fine. And, um, you know, I'm in my 12th year. I was coming off an injury last year, so I was okay with the role, you know. We embraced the role, and unfortunately, you know, T went down um, in that Bengals game, and I was able to get in there and step in there and, and, and just give, you know, just give my guys an opportunity, and that's really all I, re you know, that's all I want to do, and, and we just got to keep building on that. Final question. Now, you were here in New Orleans in 09 when they won the Super Bowl. Great years in 2010, 2011. Uh, many years later now, 2018, how was this team similar to the team that won the Super Bowl, or, and how is it different? I see a lot of similarities, you know, of course with our offense and our defense is just they're playing they're playing stingy and um, you know they're creating turnovers and um, they're limiting their offense, they're giving us a chance, they're giving us an opportunity. Um, you gotta love the energy, you know. Uh, you gotta love the youth that we have here, the play the playmakers we have on all three phases of the uh, of the game, you know. Um, when it comes to this game, sometimes you're gonna have to rely on sometimes you gotta rely on offense, you gotta rely on defense and look at look at Tampa last you know, last week. Mm -hmm when uh, you know, Taysom Hill comes up with that extremely great block. And that literally, it was just a, I, you could feel the momentum shift right then and there. As soon as we got the ball back, we knew we were going to score and we knew we were going to win. And <clears throat> it's kind of eerily similar to 2009, you know? We got out to those hot starts and, you know, putting up a lot of points, a lot of yards and things like that. And, um, you know, when we got later on in the season, we had to rely on the defense, kind of like now, just to give us a little, to give us a little jump start, you know. And we had to rely on the special teams to give us a little jump start in 09, a game or two, and look what happened. So um, we came out of here with a big win. You know, we knew this team was going to come out hungry. You know, they, uh, their goals and aspirations were still in front of them, but we wanted it a little more. Great perspective. Well, listen, happy early. Uh, Merry Christmas to you. Uh, thanks for joining us, and have a good, nice uh, victory ride home. Oh, yeah, thank you. Merry Christmas. All right, Jermon Bushrod, Saints offensive lineman. We're just getting rolling here outside the Saints locker room. We'll have Deuce McAllister, Drew Brees, and a host of others. Back to you guys.